Charles, what happened? What did you do to that duck? What happened to him? Oh my goodness, all of his insides are outsides. And you look like Santa Claus. And all over my bed, too. Are you just having too much fun? Did I ruin it by coming in here? I'm so sorry. Good afternoon, guys, and happy um, Monday to all of your sunshiny faces. Guys, yesterday I set up my planner. I was really good um, and set my planner up and I was pretty good and followed it decently well today. Um, I think it was honestly it's been maybe like two or three weeks now that I haven't set my planner up to start the week and so I have not obviously been very diligent in the things that I'm making sure that I get done. Also too I don't know what my hair is doing right now like my bangs they look like honestly I look like I have like feathered hair like and I've been noticing that too. I don't know if it's because it's getting a little bit longer now. Like it's been a couple of weeks. Um, or what the deal is. But it is, you know, looking a little crazy. I don't know if I need to put something else in it or what I need to do to it. But, um, yeah. It's like weird though too. Because like when I got it cut, it was like it's already grown like a couple, like, uh, centimeters maybe. I don't know how much a centimeter even is. <laughs> I was going to say inches and I was like clearly no because an inch would have been like past my eye. <laughs> um but yeah so anyways my hair has grown my bangs have grown just a little bit I actually might need them to be a little trim trimmed just a little tiny bit um I don't know how long either to to wait like is it like once they're actually in my eyes and like I can't see because like I got them cut they were like maybe like right at like my eyebrow like there or something like that um so yeah but I don't know what it's doing it's like flailing out and I told you guys too so on this side I have a cowlick anyway so it's like kind of weird anyway or no maybe it's some I don't remember what side it is this side's looking a little bit crazier than this side right now um my bangs just sort of in general look a little crazy and they look like all frizzy too I don't know what is going on um anyways though <laughs> but um yeah so I was good today guys I edited um Oh, well, I uploaded two vlogs. I had three that were edited. Um, and so I have one scheduled out for tomorrow. I edited three today. So I had three that were already edited. Only uploaded two of those. So I still have one that was still not uploaded yet. But I edited three today. So I have four. And I can upload those four tomorrow. So I should have them scheduled through Wednesday. And I'm only like maybe two and a half weeks behind or something like that like I was almost caught up I was just a few days behind and then like again over those last like two weeks or whatever I really wasn't uploading or editing or hardly anything um and so yeah it's gonna take me maybe about a week or so to get like kind of back on track but I was like I am not going to let this happen again where I get like literally almost caught up with everything and then it's like a month that goes by and I'm not and then I'm like trying to catch up again so um I did that today and then I also got to dishes too I did dishes first thing in the morning when my uh food was cooking and um I didn't end up getting to laundry that was the one thing that I really wanted to get to because um I actually I don't know what happened to my other leggings and I'd like to wear leggings instead of jeans right now because like it's supposed to be cooler not like super cold like you know like I feel like last week was like we're actually supposed to get I think like maybe it's this week or something like that but it's supposed to be like mid 70s um to like low 80s I think and so I'm like well I could wear shorts and like maybe like a sweatshirt or something one day but um like leggings for me because they're normally kind of thinner I can just wear those with like a long shirt or sweatshirt or something like that um 
you know, especially in the winter and, you know, or in the fall or spring and stuff like that, where it's like, I want lighter clothing on, but I still want to be like fully clothed, like not in shorts or like a t-shirt or something like that. Um, you know, like have everything covered because I'm cold, if not, <laughs> you know? So, um, you know, leggings are like kind of that perfect in between, like they're not shorts, but like they're still cool enough. And jeans to me, sometimes I can get hot in jeans. Like I kind of was today. And so I really wanted my leggings washed and um, yeah, that didn't end up happening because I didn't get to laundry today. So that kind of stunk. It looks like it's gonna be another day worth of jeans tomorrow. But the thing that stinks is that I really only think I have one pair of leggings that I can find. Like I, I have a couple of pairs of black leggings, but I, I don't know what happened to like my two, probably my two favorite pairs. I can only find one of my favorite pairs. The other one is like an okay pair, but it's not my favorite pair. And I was like, clearly I haven't been wearing them recently. Cause like I just recently wore leggings. Um, you know, that my one favorite pair, um, I just recently wore and I, um, like, you know, I haven't been wearing them because obviously it's been summer. So I've been wearing shorts and stuff like that. So obviously I haven't seen them for a couple months now. I don't know what happened to my other good pair. I don't know if it's just like in my closet buried somewhere or like what. But um, I got to go look through that and try and find them. So maybe if I can find my other good pair, I'll wear those tomorrow. Um, yeah, guys, this is kind of driving me crazy. I kind of want my hair to do like more of one of these like curl flip under instead of like flipping out like you guys see that it's like going like this way i want it to go like this way more um yeah that looks kind of crazy um and i don't know what it is like yeah anyways i'm gonna stop messing with my hair though but um i didn't get to laundry today so normally mondays are my day where i try and get back on track after the weekends and everything like that so i try and edit and upload catch up on dishes and laundry and stuff like that just because normally i don't really do a whole ton of laundry over the weekend i might normally on um you know i, I don't always do or I'm always super caught up with dishes over the weekend either um you know I might do a load like one or once or twice maybe but I don't normally I'm not like super super caught up again sometimes I can be in the same thing with laundry but normally Mondays are my day to okay get everything back organized edit and upload and do dishes and laundry and I get caught back up with those things and um yeah, that didn't end up happening in the laundry aspect, but everything else was good. So then tomorrow I had the bathroom to clean. Um, so that's why, you know, I normally try and focus on those so that then like tomorrow it's not super overwhelming. Like I have to clean the bathroom and I have to try and get dishes done because I didn't do any yesterday or, you know, I didn't get that much done or whatever. Um, you know, and the same with laundry. So, um, and I normally try and make sure that I have that done earlier too, because um, the bathroom laundry is normally like the collective laundry so it can get full kind of fast and so when I'm cleaning the bathroom I want to make sure that I like to have the laundry basket empty just so that I'm not dragging a full you know basket full of laundry through the house while I'm trying to move the stuff out to try and clean in there and stuff um, so yeah I like to try and get laundry done before Tuesday but I felt like this was again for the first Monday in two to three weeks where I was actually like on track with the things I needed to get done. Thing that stunk was, I don't know what happened. I woke up so late last night, it was kind of crazy. Um, it's actually almost one o'clock. I don't think I went to bed really late last night, but I woke up at like almost around noon today. I don't know how it happened, but I think I went to bed like probably around, I fell asleep maybe around one or two o'clock. Um, like wasn't super, super, super late. Um, but yeah, I don't know how I ended up waking up at noon. Um, so I think I'm going to take a melatonin just because I don't know, it kind of helps me. Like the only thing I can think of is that Sunday, I know I fell asleep really late. I think I only got like five hours of sleep maybe on Saturday night going into Sunday. Um, because I woke up early then cause we went to Aldi. So the only thing I can think of then was that maybe I was just super tired. So I ended up sleeping and like, like, you know, because of that, um, today. And so yeah, that kind of stunk because I feel like I could have actually gotten to laundry and a couple of, you know, other things maybe that I wanted to today. Um, had I woke up a little bit earlier. Um, the one thing was that I did sort of look through the cabinet to figure out what I'm going to make with the chicken that I got for the freezer dinners. Um, 
and I didn't end up making anything for dinner either tonight because we ended up, I ended up getting up so late. So I was just like, eh, there's, you know, frozen stuff in the freezer you guys can heat up or have leftovers or <laughs> something, you know, I was just kind of like, guys, make something yourself. But honestly too, we have so much like convenient food that's what I like to call it um where it's like a can of something or you know and that's why normally that's more like lunch stuff we don't like to do that for dinners um just like chicken you know chicken I think Jack had chicken fries for dinner or something like that um you know or like a can of soup or spaghettios or something like that you know like I don't know. I, I always think of that to me as more of a lunch sort of thing. And that's like, normally my mom will have like a can of SpaghettiOs for lunch or something like that. And Jack will heat himself up something like frozen or whatever, like a hot pocket for lunch. To me, that's more of a lunch thing, you know, and not a dinner thing. So I don't like to be like, just make something for yourself tonight, you know, if it's not like, you know, I don't know, something that, you know, like I also have sort of, I guess, convenient dinners, which is like chicken Kiev and that kind of stuff. But that involves a little bit more cooking and baking and stuff like that. Um, then, you know, just like Jack threw chicken fries in the microwave for dinner tonight. Um, but I was kind of like, oh, you guys can make yourself a sandwich or have grilled cheese, you know, whatever. I don't know. But, um, you know, like I was just like, I woke up too late. And then by the time I was like, my dad too, he worked late. So this is my other defense was I was like, okay, well maybe I'll make like spaghetti and, um, like, uh, chicken patties, you know, um, like chicken, What's that called chicken parmesan for dinner and I was like maybe I'll go with that for dinner tonight and then my dad was working late and he worked until normally he gets home like around three o'clock sometimes maybe a little earlier maybe a little later but I don't think he got home until like five o'clock or something like that because I guess they have a project they're trying to finish up um but uh, <laughs> he ended up working late and then was working out in the garage and he didn't come in until like seven o'clock and then all of a sudden Jack came in my room and was like what's for dinner and I was like well, I kind of assumed, like, my mom already ate something. I think she actually made tuna salad, like, yesterday. So, I think she had that, um, for, like, you know, kind of, like, dinner tonight. Um, and I was like, well, there's frozen stuff. I was like, I think mom ate already. You know, it's like, I'm just cooking for three people, too. So, I was like, if one person winds up eating something, like, you know, and I didn't make it for, you know, dinner or whatever, then I'm like, okay, well, I'm not going to just, like make something then for like two people like that seems kind of pointless so um yeah I I was a little slacking in that department but I feel like it was because I woke up late too because I didn't actually like by the time I was done making my breakfast and doing dishes and stuff like that it was close to one o'clock and I was like okay I'm having my coffee now at one o'clock in the afternoon like you know and normally I start dinner at four I was like that's three hours later I was like I just finished my coffee <laughs> um you know so yeah I don't know but then like I said I didn't see my dad until seven and nobody came to like ask if like we were doing anything for dinner until seven o'clock and I was like it's kind of too late now you guys can just fix yourself something so um anyways yeah we will um hopefully I'll be able to wake up early tomorrow and get something in the slow cooker or something you know ready for dinner or whatever but um yeah that kind of like I said, that was the part that kind of stunk is because I do want to try and rotate some of the freezer dinners because I feel like I've been making a lot and like last week I made maybe one or two like and this week so far I haven't made one and then um what was I gonna say the week before that I think I made a couple but like I feel like I've actually been making more freezer dinners than we've actually been eating so I need to and our freezer's full so that's why the other thing too is that I'm trying to push like chicken fries on people like frozen chicken fries on people because we have stuff in the freezer that we I'm not gonna say we panic bought during the pandemic but there was a lot of stuff that like you know because my dad was just you know there was all of us were in the house Matthew included and stuff like that and we needed like convenient foods because we we're all here all day and we weren't going out anywhere we normally only get like takeout like if somebody was really out anyway um you know or if we were going and running an errand then we would pick like takeout pick up takeout or something like that um you know or we'd order ahead and go and pick it up or whatever um and so now that like you know during that time like we weren't doing any of that so like we ended up buying a, a lot more I think because we we're eating from home so 
I don't think, like I said, it wasn't panic buying, but it was just more like justified like frozen foods and stuff like that and convenient things because, you know, there was a lot more lunches that needed to be served because there was a lot more people here and people were hungry at odd hours of the day because like Matthew and Jack would sting and stay up until like five in the morning and so they're, they'd have dinner, which was really lunch, and so their actual dinner was like, it, you know, either leftovers or they wind up having, you know, something that was convenient and, you know, so it was just kind of like all kind of thrown off but we had a bunch of stuff we ended up buying like there was a big thing a big pack of like hot pockets from aldi um again to like chicken fries my dad bought and like some other type of like potato like you know french fry things and stuff like that um because my dad was the only one that was going grocery shopping too so he was buying all of this stuff and so he was like these sounded really good i wanted to buy them and i was like okay like my dad's never i guess he has but like most of the time, I guess, my dad's kind of been the one more that's done a lot of the shopping. Um, like, when I was really little, my mom used to, but, like, when I was, like, you know, when I was, like, little, little, like, almost before Matthew was even born, but, like, you know, around the time, like, me and Matthew were a little bit older, maybe around the time Jack was born, my dad did a lot of the grocery shopping, and still, like, we, now me and him do. Um, but yeah it's just like when he would just go out just by himself with no like kind of like you know guidance or anything like that like my mom would make lists and stuff like that but like he would kind of go out sometimes too when like he'd just see like snack food or convenient food or like frozen something or other like you know lunches and stuff like that he'd be, oh yeah these you know this <laughs> and hot pockets and you know um you know like i said the the uh what's it called chicken fries have been out there i know for a while and i'm pretty sure i told jack that there was a bag of um chicken nuggets or like chicken tender type things that were out there i'm 99 percent sure there's still another bag out there he was like i couldn't find them so i just got these but you know like again that's normally like a lunch thing so that's why we kind of have them and since jack's home for school anyway that's kind of why we need some still convenient food but um yeah, long story short, I don't like feeding people that for dinner, but I was like, yeah, just go ahead and eat it, guys. <laughs> um, you know, and I don't know, my dad heated some leftovers up or maybe had the tuna salad or something like that because my mom made a pretty big batch of it. Um, and so I know my dad took some for lunch and my mom ended up having some, I think, at some point today, either for lunch or dinner or whatever. So, um, yeah, I ended up having actually leftovers the, when we had chicken Kiev like late last week we had leftover rice and I ended up throwing I just threw some beans I had rice half a can of beans at leftover salsa <laughs> um let's see what else there's cheese um I think that was it and just sort of mixed it up and threw it in the oven at 350 for like uh 20 minutes I think it was nice and warm and it tasted good so um that's what I ended up having for dinner I was like this isn't really anything too spectacular but it's kind of like I was telling you guys that like Tex-Mex stuff that I made it's similar to that and normally like just throwing a couple of those ingredients depending on what I had I tried to look for corn I guess we didn't have frozen corn at least inside um and so yeah I'll just throw some of that stuff in there and just kind of throw it in the oven for a little bit and call it dinner um so that's why whenever we do chicken kiev normally when we have leftover rice i do that one day for myself and it takes the place of my quesadilla so that's what i ended up having for dinner tonight was just leftovers too along with <laughs> pretty much everybody else it was on your and you know make your own dinner tonight kind of night but hopefully that doesn't happen again tomorrow hopefully i can get to bed early so i need to go get in the shower though but i'll see you guys all in tomorrow's vlog if you guys did enjoy today's so make sure you guys give the gold thumbs up if you guys are new we'd love if you'd subscribe and i'll see you all have your sunshiny faces tomorrow so bye guys